Hey there, welcome back to another day in the life. You all really loved the last one, which featured my M1 iPad Pro. But of course, with the new iPad Air that was recently released and um, I figured I would do a day in the life now with the iPad Air. So my day in the life with the iPad Air and the iPad Pro are going to be pretty similar, pretty much the same. The new iPad Air, which has the M1 chip, is entirely capable of my workflows from the iPad Pro. So nothing much has changed except now we have universal control with um, the new iPad Air. So if you have a MacBook or an iMac or something, you can initiate universal control. So you'll just have your iCloud signed in on the devices that you wanna use and it's just very seamless. So I've been exploring that a little bit and it's really awesome being able to kind of control all of your devices from one. And it's way more seamless than like switching the keyboards and the mice, like with just the button, like this, you can just move your cursor over back and forth between any of the devices that you have this enabled on. So pretty cool. Earlier today, I was working on um, responding to customer support requests because outside of YouTube, I do have a full-time shop that gets customer requests daily. And so I was just responding to those really quickly. And what's great about the iPad Air is that my help desk actually has an app that I can use. So I don't have to use the browser version, but I want to, I can just log into the help desk app and then I'm able to respond to you guys there. And a few other things on my to-do list today for my day in the life of the iPad Air. I wanted to start scripting out some other videos featuring the iPad Air to show you all what it's capable of. I also wanted to dip my toes a bit into Swift UI coding because the Swift Playgrounds app, I was exploring it a little bit yesterday, seems really cool and really easy to learn coding that way. So I want to show you guys that a bit with the iPad Air and then also video editing for the YouTube side of things. So that's really all that I'm planning on doing today, but the iPad Air is not going to break a sweat with what I have to do. So hope you all enjoy this video. This video is sponsored by Rise, which I'll be chatting more about them later, but Rise is going to be really helpful in seeing where your time goes throughout the day, especially if you're working from home like I am. So let's go ahead and get started with our day. Today's video sponsor, Rise, is the only time tracker that helps you improve your productivity. Rise is a desktop app that automatically tracks and categorizes the time you spend on certain apps and websites. It's incredibly helpful and efficient not having to start and stop a timer over and over again when jumping between tasks, which was a huge problem I was facing when it came to tracking my time. Rise provides insights and analytics so you can understand where your time goes and it improves your focus and helps you build better work habits by showing a break to work ratio and notifying you when it's time to take a break. You're also able to see your deep work, like focused sessions, which can tell you a lot about when and with what tasks you have the greatest focus. As someone who now works full time from home, it is incredibly helpful to have these insights and 
see where I might be able to improve my productivity. If you're interested in getting better metrics of your day-to-day -day activity and want to prevent burnout, use my code and link in the description to be one of the first 1,000 people to get 25% off your first three months with Rise and maximize your productivity today. Rise additionally provides a 14 day free trial, so you're able to test it out before committing. Thank you so much to Rise for sponsoring today's video. So I already did quite a bit of scripting today for a video. I did finish up the script of one of the videos, but I have two to three other videos that I need to script and kind of plan out, but I also need to make some major headway on editing. Now, while I do have a lot of like YouTube, like longer form videos that I need to film, and I like doing that on my Mac just because I really like Final Cut Pro, though I know LumaFusion would be really good on the iPad and could handle it. Um, I'm actually going to edit Reels and TikToks on my iPad. I do have the app that I normally use for my phone to edit TikToks and Reels, since my phone is the device that I normally use, but I, found out they have an iPad app. So I'm actually going to try that on the iPad, um, on the iPad Air today. So I have my iPad here and it looks like it does allow me to edit from the iPad, which is really nice because I really like having larger screens to edit videos, which is why I opted for like the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I do have the iMac that I used to like editing videos on recently upgraded to the 16 inch MacBook so I can edit videos anywhere and I'm not kind of stuck at my desk. And then I started editing reels and TikToks um, on my phone. I got the 13 Pro Max because of the bigger screen. And now it looks like I'm able to use this app to edit reels and TikTok as well. So there is the app LumaFusion, which I experimented with previously on the iPad for editing reels and TikToks, but I think that app while it is great for editing reels and TikToks, I think that's more for longer form video, or at least that's where I think longer form video deserves to be edited on the iPad is with LumaFusion. I wanted something extremely simple for editing videos and TikToks, or editing TikToks and reels on my iPad. So I use CapCut on my iPhone and it looks like they have an iPad app. So we'll just use that to edit my reels because I got a lot of reels that I need to edit. And a huge problem I have is filming a ton of clips and stuff and whatnot for Reels and TikToks and then just never having the energy to actually just drop it in a timeline and edit it because, I don't know, I overthink Reels, but YouTube videos, I can just pop them out. So we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll edit some Reels and some TikToks and hopefully I'll have those to upload so you guys can see. If you're not already following me on Instagram or TikTok, you can find me at kdigitalstudio. That's my username across all of the platforms except Twitter. At Twitter, you can find me at a at K Digital Studios with an S at the end. So if you're not already following me on social media, uh, feel free because I post more than just on YouTube. So if you want a holistic view of K Digital Studio, iPad Air. Obviously I did a ton of video and photo editing that took up most of that day, but, but those are the tasks that typically take the longest for me. So the iPad Air is great for that because it's so lightweight and so much smaller than my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So it really was a joy to photo and video edit on it. 
So I hope you all enjoyed that day in the life of me. Don't forget to check out Rise using the code and link in the description. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.